you take something like this and, and get it going? Is that your, obviously, we'll take this and set it on a chassis. This truck, the drivetrain of this is not fun to drive, in my opinion. Somebody wants us to do that, I'll do it. It's yep. fine. It's all there. What would you put this on? Uh, Chevy. Dot, uh, uh, no, so this truck, the narrow KBs, yep. believe it or not, a really good chassis for these is a Dodge Dakota. Really? Yeah, because the track width and the wheelbase is almost identical. Okay. And what's really neat about it, this is strap closer right now. What's neat about it, what you do is you cut the floor out, right? Okay. And you take the Dakota and you cut the floor and the firewall out. Well, the Dakotas had a heating and air conditioning system in them that have vents in the actual HVAC box, not just the dash. Okay. So you can cut the firewall on the floor out of the Dakota, cut the firewall and floor out of this, and you slide it right over the top and weld it back together. And then you've got heat, AC, power steering, tilt, cruise, air, and everything that goes with that. And then you set the body back on and run your fuel system and your brakes. So, you know, and you go buy something that, you know, a Dodge Dakota two-wheel drive pickups, a couple grand, go buy one that runs and drives, pull the body off, you know, whatever. Yeah, you go. But you don't buy, you know, all the, yeah, all go the, find that sheet metal that's 75 years old that's not rotten. These corners and stuff uh -uh. like that? These corners? Uh -uh. Uh, that gone. bed? <laughs> yeah. Nobody makes it. Yeah. The running boards? Crazy. So this... And this is... It, on the East Coast, this is a buildable truck. Like this. Somebody is. still might buy this tub from me at some point yeah. and use it. No, it is. There's but, no doubt about it. Um, but... Just to give you a vision of the type of stuff that we get, mm -hmm. this to me is a parts truck, yeah. whereas it wouldn't be to you guys. Yeah. So. And even even myself is not. I don't. I don't consider myself any kind of a body guy. Right. But I could fix this. Yep. No. Yep. You know, I get. I hate doing rockers. I always have my buddy yeah. do the rockers. You start getting into building, you know, the compound corners and stuff. Yeah. That's but look at this. Stuff. Look at the but corners. Look at the tailgate. This corner. Yeah. Like the two wheel wells are the only spot for you guys. That's, yeah. You find even on the '62 that I bought, I had I had about this much rust down in here. Sure. On it, and I was scattered. Yeah. You know. Yeah, the East Coast guys are happy to get these. They are. Yep. So anyway, so this this is an example of we get I get stuff like this all the time. So I need enough parts. Uh, we use these to fix it. Not to sell. And you got it. It's perfect for you. You got the space here to be able right. to put. A few of these around and have them. Yeah, most of the stuff that's over here, this area here, this is just part trucks. They're complete, but they're part trucks because it's stuff that we use to fix the other ones. So. I mean, yeah, anything, anything that's in here is easily something somebody would build. And for right. sure, you're right, Dave. I, it wouldn't be out of the question to have somebody go, "Oh, I'll get that tub." Right. And the funny thing is, the parts we've taken off this, I have some other ones that are different colors and stuff. I have enough to put the fenders, the hood, the front clip. Put axles back underneath it, windshield frame. I have a top. Like I can actually put this truck back together. I have no desire to, but I mean, if I, somebody wanted it to, we could. Yeah. So, but yeah. for for us, it's invaluable to have these because you can't get a lot of these parts anymore. So to have a parts truck to be able to go out and get, even if it's just the one screw or the bracket or the bolt you. or the hanger, you know. We it, try to do the same with the military trucks. You get that M thirty eight A one that we're doing now. There's certain things on, especially. Because it's a it's a forging vehicle, so it's got a lot of the uh, you know sealed the sealed components for you know to sure. go in the waters. Sure. And you can't find them. I yeah. mean, you can, but there's huge money. And if yeah. you find one that's you know we got two, and we got one out back. I don't know how many times we've gone up there and raped that right. thing for something stupid. Something. Yeah. Well, you, know? you can see this one. How many things have been pulled off of it? Same thing. Yeah. So. Absolutely. Um, anyway. Well, that gives you an idea. It does give me an idea, and it gives me an idea to look at you go. You're just right full of energy, oh, aren't yeah. you? Border collie, cattle dog. That's right. Never run out of energy. But it uh, gives me an idea of what, what you guys are doing. And, sure. uh, you know, to see it on a website is, I think, I, this is ex kind of exactly what I thought you might do, right. but until I meet you, and, you know. Yeah, well, it's one of those things, like you said, you, you only know who you're talking to when you're actually talking to them. Right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. No, I like what you guys got going on here, and. Uh, you know, it's a definite resource for me. So yeah, we get yeah, we'll be happy to help need, you when you get to that need point. Something and, yeah, you know, who knows? We we don't turn out a lot of stuff, but I mean, we if we can do one or two vehicles a year and get them, you know, between that and we're helping other guys work on some of the stuff. And sure. 
Yeah, uh, and, we can, and we can get you a couple rigs on one shipment and ship them to you, and you've got two good rust-free rigs you can start with to absolutely. work on throughout yeah, the year. And I'm going to be out here more often because sure. he's, he's going to be out here, so, you know. Well, if you I'll, get real adventurous, you can jump in and drive one of these things. I <laughs> plan on taking a week to get home. A week or two. Sure. No, you're going to break down a couple times, but, you know, that's part of the adventure. It is what it is. Yeah. I've got a, uh, the, the, the 80 that I bought, I bought it with it has a full top on it. But the guy goes, he says, well, he says, is that my son? He says, the, the, I want the pickup top. Yeah. He goes, the pickup top comes with it, but he says it's still in Montana. Well, I'm hoping it comes this spring because the, the, early, the earlier pickup tops are impossible to find. Well, there. I'm in Montana all the time, so if you tell me where it is and you need it picked up, if you end up getting something from us or something like that, yeah, let me know. I'll I go will. pick it up and we'll, and we'll put it in the back of one of the rigs that you guys buy. Well, I said, I said to, uh, I said that, I said, I may fly out one time. If he, if he doesn't get it to me this spring, I may fly out this fall. And even if I just rent a truck and just drive it back, drive a truck back, you know, sure. myself. Yeah. Okay, I'm retired. I can take a week off. And fly out here, rent a, uh, a U-Haul truck and a U-Haul trailer and load one of these scouts load on the one trailer, of these, exactly. grab a there top, you go. grab some parts and work your way home. What the hell? I don't yeah. think that's a horrible idea. No. No. Who knows what you find on the way, too. Make sure you guys like, tag, share, and follow and help us continue to tell the stories of these trucks.